Hello all of you thrill seekers out there and welcome back to another Planet Coaster tutorial video. Today I will be showing you how to make a Switch Track Multipass Launch Coaster. Some of you guys may have seen one of my recent videos called Passage where in the video you actually have the car approaching the launch, pausing, going backwards, going forwards and then completing the layout only to be at the end facing a drop track. That video is completely done using video editing. Because as you can see, it just goes back to the station. What I did is I did multiple clips pieced together to be nearly seamless, so that way it feels like the ride is actually functioning. I will have a behind the scenes video sometime soon if you guys would like to know more about how I made this creation work. Anyways, because this is impossible, you can't actually have guests, you know, ride it to complete the entire layout with, you know, everything in use, such as the spike and going back through the entire layout. But today, I'm going to show you a concept that will allow this to actually function. But it's not quite in the way you'd expect. So, let me place down the ride over here. There we go. Nice. Beautiful. So as you can see right here, we have the station. It will leave the station and go onto this track here and launch itself forwards. But then it will go backwards and not go back into the station, but instead continue to go up the spike and back down to launch over the top hat and complete the layouts. How does this work? Well, have a look for yourself. And just like that, it completes the layout. So some of you guys might be wondering what happened there when it hits the uh, top of both sides. Let's just share how this is built. So if we head over to the custom coasters, let's uh, find ourselves the torque ride. So we're going to take torque for this example. It will work with any coaster in the game that has a dual linear launch. What we're going to do is just simply create a little uh, pre-section or pre-launch section just to get some momentum from the train right here on this line is where we're going to be making our launch section okay we created a pre-section right here that will give it just enough momentum just to make it over here so what we're going to start off with is just the linear synchronous mode now i want to remember my lengths okay so any value you put down for your slope or your track length you want to remember it and if you decide to use any banking or turns, remember those values as well. So what we're going to do is set our track length to 16, just because that's a simple number to remember and it aligns up with the grid. So I'm going to build two segments. After that, well, the number of segments you build doesn't really matter. I'm just showing you the same design I made over here or roughly the same. All right, so after you made your launch segment right here, we're going to go at 12 meters, just to make things a bit simple. And we're going to go 22, 45, and then we're going to cut it by half to six and go one degree each time right here. Okay. Now this is where the trick happens. We're going to delete this middle segment right here that we just made. We're going to go off of this side and then connect it there. Some of you guys may be wondering what just happened right here, because as you can see at the right end, it doesn't really quite look right. If I would hit undo, you can see there it's the textures, you redo, now it's gone. So what's happening right here is that when you build a segment that connects to the end of the track and hit build, it will complete it, right? But the same thing actually happens when you build it on the opposite end. So if I was to move this to the side, you can see it is auto-completed together. It's just completed itself in the wrong direction. And what happens when the train goes over this, as you can see right here, 
the train will go forwards. And it will flip itself backwards. Not on the same track, but on the track you're now building on. So this is where we're going to be building our next launch segment. So we're going to try to hit the continue building button the best we can. There we go. And we're going to go back on this track segment. Remember how I said keep in mind of your values? Well, this is why. But instead of building right here, just to make our lives easier, we're going to set up our launch uh, speed now for the first section. Okay. So let's watch the train go by. So it goes on to that piece of track. We need to slow it down a bit because it doesn't feel like it's stalling. 66 works all right so now that we have our first launch set up we're going to continue building on this path so we're going to uh go back onto the track we were just on go to our linear synchronous motor we go to 16 meters that's what we did before go to our standard track let's go with roughly nine meters that seems to be roughly where the switch would happen at and let's go back at 16, twice on that. And we're going to do the exact same thing we did on the other spike. So just like before, we're going to delete our middle segment. And there we go. So now you just want to try your best at getting that uh, continue building button. It takes a little while to to hit. All right, we're just going to build a little node off to the side, just so that way it'll be easier for us to uh, select it later. Just like that, see? Perfect. And then right here, what I'm just going to do is just kind of make it seem like it continues. That way it doesn't feel like it's uh, hitting the very end of the track. It looks like it's uh, stalling right in the middle of that. And just like before, we're going to set up our launch uh, settings. So let's watch it go through that segment and it comes back through and it doesn't quite speed up further to a point where it's going to reach that. So we're going to have to crank up that speed a little. Perfect. Okay. So now that we have that done, what we're going to do is continue building on this path over here. So just like before, you want to follow the direction you were just uh, in. All right, let's go up to 16. Let's uh, take the motor and crank it up just a bit more. All right, and right here, we're going to use track two. Just to give it illusion at this piece right here. It does, in fact, rotate. And we're going to go up to 16 once again. And now, time to do our main hill. So, trace over the other steps, just like before. But be careful not to go over this piece again. Is, uh, sometimes it can uh, bug out a little. And now you can make your top hat. And then we'll hit autocomplete. Because at that point on, you can just uh, do whatever you want with the layout. So we're going to smooth out the segment that's not actually a part of the uh, the launch. Because we don't want to smooth out those segments. I mean, you could if you want, but you have to smooth out all three layers in the exact same way. So if you hit the button twice here... You want to hit the button twice on all the other three segments, just so you keep the illusion that it's just one piece of track. So that's it. That is the multi-pass switch track launch. Completed and done. Not quite how you would expect, just like I mentioned before, but hey, it works. Yeah, unfortunately, you can't do a multi-pass like was done in my video. As much as we would all like to have it in the game, it just does not work. But, once again, if you'd like to see behind the scenes of how I made this one feel like it functions, just let me know down in the comments below. And uh, if this tutorial has helped you on how to figure out to make coasters like this, 
let me know and feel free to share your creations on what you've done with this tutorial. I would love to see them. One more thing I do want to add in is that this glitch doesn't just serve the purpose for coasters like these. If you'd like, you can actually pull something off like let's say Expedition Everest. So Expedition Everest, right? Turns the corner, goes up uh, the, uh, the holding brake, and then it gets pushed back down, right? In theory, with this whole method, you could actually do this, where it goes up, right? And have it go back on itself. It does look pretty weird when you see it go through, but hey, it works. Anyways, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys next time.